Have you ever been walking through the grocery store, you know, shopping for your ramen noodles, and uh, you're just walking down the aisle, you're trying to mind your own business, but there, there's, a, there's a, a parent and their kid, and the kid is just going nuts. Whining, having a temper tantrum. But I want, I want, I need, I need. I mean, have you just heard that in, 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 in like, it drive, it, like, inside, you're like, I'm gonna explode just watching this scene. Have you ever had that moment? What is it with, with children and whining? I, I think that, and I don't know for sure, but, but I think maybe as babies, kids learn to whine because if they can't say words yet, that's how they get their parents' attention, especially if parents are preoccupied. Uh, the sound is annoying enough that they tend to get your attention. But as, as children grow older, uh, you see with children that they have a tendency to continue whining. Early on, as a parent, I, I figured out that I, I don't, I can't handle this whining thing. Um, because if my children continue to whine, uh, I'm going to feel like I have to throw myself through the window. So I, it became apparent that for survival, something must change. Well, it occurred to me, I wonder if you can whine and smile at the, at the same time. You can't. I mean, really, try it. So I started to say this to my kids. Every time they had something they wanted to ask me about. Daddy, can I please have something to eat? I just say, you know what? Ask that again, but just say it with a smile. And they'd kind of look at me and... And most of the time they break out laughing. And they realize quickly how goofy it is when they whine. The other day, one of my, my children, who's now eight, shouldn't be whining by eight, she was whining about something. And I, I've said to say it with a smile all her life, so I thought maybe I'll need to get a little creative. So I said, you know what, hold on one second, I want you to say that again to me. And so we walked into the bathroom together and I had her stand in the mirror. I said, say that again, just the way you did before. And she looked in the mirror and she just started laughing. As soon as they see how goofy they look when they do it, and really how obnoxious it is, it's funny how even a child goes, I, I think I want to change that. So how about a, a zero tolerance policy for whining? Let's maybe clean that up in America. Could we all do that? If, if, you, if you, one of your kids is whining, just tell them, you know what, it, say it with a smile. And I think what we'll discover is life will be a lot more peaceful for all of us.